today we will going to see how to publish your raml api into exchange okay so what is the exchange the exchange is repository where you know like you can publish your api your connectors you know like anything so this is the uh, you know big repository okay where you can find connectors apis okay so today we will going to see how you can publish your raml api to the exchange so first thing you need to check like you have to go to the access management okay under access managers go to the users so make sure like your username has a access okay so you can check it here once if your user has a access then you need to go to exchange Okay, before that, I would like to show you something. Uh, let me go to API Manager. Okay, so in API Manager, like uh, we have a, a lot of RAML API already available. Okay, uh, if we will click on one of the API, which will be going to publish to the uh, exchange. So first thing we need two URLs. One is the portal URL and one is a RAML URL. So what we can do, we can travel to uh, this uh, edit portal. Okay, you go to API references. You just copy that this is the RAML URL and just paste it in one of your notepad go to live portal now you want a portal url so copy this portal url this will be required when you are going to publish your raml into the exchange okay now we will going uh, go to the exchange we will go to exchange okay you can see like lot of connectors lot of thing into the exchange now you want to publish your api so simply click on the add new item drop down select rest api okay you can give the name i will say book service api i will say okay, okay you don't have to provide all the information okay and, and you need to add some versions so you can provide the version like uh, i will say rest api spec version i will say 0.8 we are using the 0.8 version raml i will say api version equals to 1.0 yeah we want api portal url and the rest api url so i will pick up the portal url which we have copied i will paste it here now i will copy the raml url I will paste it here and say done okay this has been added so you don't have to provide each and every uh, details just you write the uh, new rest api the name so item id will be automatically generated depending on whatever name you provided so click on the save new item item id already okay so i will change uh, some name it's already available so I will say book service rest API uh, level. Okay, now again I will say save new item. Okay, it has been saved. Okay, now you have to publish. You can see the status is work in progress. It is not yet published to the exchange. Now you have to publish this API to the exchange. So you simply click on the publish. Okay. Now see, you can see your API has been published into the exchange. Okay. This is your API already has been published to the, to the exchange. So you can see the details for the API also. Okay. 
if you want to republish if you want to unpublish there are various options if you want to delete you can do that that's it okay now we will see like how you can consume exchange api using the api kit so we will going to create a file new project new mule project okay i will say book service api app okay so now you have to consume using api kit so simply click on add api kit component okay now you have to you require the uh, api recognition so click on this ellipsis go to any point platform so let's wait okay. so sometime you like uh, uh, my credential has been already added so if your credential has not been added so you simply click on add credential okay let's wait okay you have to provide the username and your password here and just uh, say configure okay in my case it's already added so i will not going to edit again simply close it so i will select one of the api from this so I want like uh, we I want book service API to consume okay so I will click on book service API to be consumed and I will say okay okay let's wait okay now I will say finish So you can see the you know flow has been automatically generated so this is the main flow this is the console flow okay so and uh, and apart from that like you have a flow for each and every method okay each and every action and each and every url you can see like that so like get get so get whatever it's depending on your api what your how many methods in your api okay and how many like get post method so depending on that it will generate the flows and at finally you can see like uh, it has also generated various type of exception code uh, exception like depending on the status code okay so this is how you can publish your api into exchange and consume using api kit okay with any point studio yeah thanks for watching video